little Christmas twinklies. Welcome back to the merriest place on the internet. Today I'm going to show you how to put lights on your Christmas tree. The first thing you need to know is that I put my Christmas lights on a hanger. When I take them off the tree, I wrap them around a coat hanger. It keeps them from getting tangled. And then I plug in the lights I want to use to make sure that everybody is in working order before I put them on the tree and then plug them in and I'm sad. So my rule is 100 lights per one and a half foot of tree. More if you want more lights, less if you want less lights. You do you. Inexpensive pre-lit trees like this one back here never ever have enough lights on them. They just don't. You get what you pay for. So I added extra lights to this one. Blah, blah, blah. Let's put lights on my tree. The first way is the quickest way to just get lights on the tree. Um, we're not gonna go round and round. We're gonna go vertical like this, up and down the whole tree like that. This is like the lazy girl way to put lights on a tree. This is also a really good option if you like only have one strand. If you're on a budget and you couldn't afford four strands of light for your tree, you've got a full size tree and you only have one strand of lights, please take them vertically instead of wrapping them round and round. Because if you are on a light budget, you're not gonna wanna put lights on the back and this way, going vertically, you can evenly distribute them a little better than if you are zigzagging or wrapping round and round and round. Please excuse my autofocus. I will get that figured out eventually. Don't you worry your pretty little head about that. So we are stringing lights vertically. Oh, look at this cute knot. And when you've gone the whole area, perimeter, what diameter, what is it? Or geographical area of the tree and you still have some lights left over, just go through the tree, fill in the gaps, move some things closer together. If you've spread them out, find the dark spots, add what you need to add, make it happen, make it pretty, yay. And then go through and make sure you tuck in cords that are really sticking out. Cords are ugly, tuck them in. And you have a lit tree. It's kind of a haphazard way to do it, not my recommended method, but if you only have one strand of lights or you're in a hurry, this will get the job done. I'd like to pause for just a second to let you know that the music you are hearing in this video is from the Christmas Cocktail Piano Box, amazing music, and it is a subscription music service, so it's delivered right to you, and it's beautiful and it's wonderful, and you can get that music with using the link in the description below. I highly recommend it. Okay, let's, let's put on some more lights. Okay. My second method is probably the way to get the most average amount of lights. Just average, lit, tree. Not overly lit, sparkly, crazy. Average. All right, we're gonna divide the tree into triangles. One triangle, two triangles, three triangles, however many triangles, depending on how fat your tree is. And then the back, but we'll talk about that later. Okay, you're gonna make a triangle with your lights and then you're gonna zigzag lights to fill in the triangle. And then you're gonna do it again, over there. Yeah, and so on and so forth. So here I go. I am making the triangle with the point at the top of the tree, tucking those in because cords are ugly. Taking it down and there's my triangle and then I will start just looping back and forth. So now I'm zigzagging back and forth, filling in that sort of triangle perimeter that I mapped out for myself. And then when I get to the top, I've filled in and zigzagged it all the way up. I just take the strand of lights and I make the second triangle. So the first triangle was half of the second triangle. Does that make sense? Oh my gosh, that sounds so confusing. But you just bring it down at an angle so that it makes a second empty triangle. Tuck it in cords because cords are ugly. And then I'm gonna fill in the next section and so on and so forth. You can make the triangle sections wider or narrower. Narrower, wow. Uh, depending upon how many lights you have, how well lit you want it. If you want more lights, make them a little narrower. If you don't have as many lights, make it a little bit of a wider section and only do, you know, three sections instead of five. However you want to do it. You do you. I'm going in for some more lights. Seriously. The winding and the unwinding. Yeah. Okay, we're lit. This looks great, but I'm gonna do something extra with an additional strand of blinking lights. I love blinking twinkly lights. I'm going to put them in the tree using the first method. So just taking them vertically up and down in triangles, but not the triangle filling in. 
And then I have twinkly looking things. So now we need to check how even it is. And the best way to do this is to step away from your tree and squint at it until it's fuzzy looking. It's a lot easier to tell where your dark spots are. So I stepped away, squinted, and right here looked dark as well as a few other little places. So I'm just gonna fix those as well as tuck in all my ugly cords and then we have a lit tree. Okay, let's talk about the third way you can light a tree. This is what I like to call the overachiever way and I'm just gonna show you with a visual aid. Okay, so with this method, you are going to wrap lights around every branch of tree, like so, except you'll leave your branches attached. I'm lucky enough to have one of the trees that you put individual branches in, but you're just gonna wrap the lights around every single branch, round and round and round the tree, this way it takes a long time, but this does give you, well, two reasons this is the better method. One, you don't see cords. You just don't because they're wrapped in the branches and so they look really great. Two, it also lights the tree spectacularly. So while I don't use this method for my own personal trees, just because it takes too long, I do too many, I, I can't recommend it enough because the lights are evenly distributed, there's more of them, and there just aren't any ugly cords to deal with. So it's beautiful. And of course, I'm still gonna make it extra. Just for me personally, I'm gonna add an extra strand of blinky twinkly lights. Using the first method, just going vertically, taking them in there, adding some extra, extra sparkle. Now, please, please, please do not stress too much about getting your lights perfectly even. You are gonna be adding ornaments and ribbons so you can tweak your lights as you go. Don't take too much time. As for the back, it's up to you if you're gonna light it or not light it. If you light it, the light will shine through the back and the reflection will kind of bounce and glow off the wall. But if you don't want to, don't do it. And now you're ready to light your tree. For more tips on how to decorate your tree like a professional, I've got a video right here. And for some more Christmas magic, I've got a video right down here. Thank you so much for watching. And until we meet again, sparkle on.